Hey everyone, welcome back to this Tosca automation playlist. Today we are going to talk about how you can scroll down a page uh, which has got a lot of content and you want to view any control which is at the bottom of the page. So you basically want to scroll down or up or you can also scroll horizontally using the horizontal and uh, also vertically using the vertical axis. So Tosca provides you with an automation module which is called the T-Box scroll window operation and it is part of the standard subset. So let's see how we can use that. Okay, so for this purpose, I have created a test case here and then I'm going to search and add test step. Here I'm going to search for the T-Box scroll. Okay, and then I'm going to add this particular module into the test case. Now going through the different module attributes or the parameters, so the first module attribute is called caption. Now this is uh, the caption of the application window uh, which you want to scroll. Uh, and caption would mean that uh, it is probably the title of the page or the window, okay? Then there is window index. So you want to specify uh, which window you want to scroll based on the opening order. So if there are multiple pages which have the same caption, you can define the window index using which uh, Tosca can then perform the operation on that particular window. Then uh, there is vertical and horizontal. So you have to specify uh, what amount of pixels or lines you want uh, Tosca to scroll uh, along the page. So it could be in terms of a vertical axis or in terms of horizontal axis. In both cases, either you have to specify it in pixels or the lines. Then there is something called uh, the mouse policy and there are two options, none or center. So this is basically Tosca will position uh, the mouse pointer uh, during the scrolling. So either it could be center or it would not move the mouse pointer at all. Then there is the direction policy. Uh, there are three options, no direction policy, vertical uh, first and horizontal first. So it basically decides uh, what Tosca should scroll along either the vertical or horizontal axis first. Okay, so if you mention the vertical first, then it will scroll the vertically. And if you mention horizontal first, then it will scroll horizontally first. Okay, and then there is also a delay. You can mention the time in milliseconds. Uh, this is basically when you have both horizontal and uh, vertical defined, then uh, there will be a delay between uh, these two operations. So Tosca will wait for that amount of time before it does the other operation, which could be horizontal or vertical scrolling. Okay, so these are all the uh, different module attributes uh, which you need to define. Not all of them are mandatory. Uh, you need to define the caption. Uh, if you require, you can define the index. Uh, you have to define either vertical or horizontal. So how much you want to scroll. And then uh, the mouse policy can be left as center and the direction policy you can choose between vertical and horizontal. So for this particular example, I have picked up this demo website uh, where uh, the infinite scroll has been implemented. So as long as you are just scrolling, it will keep on increasing, okay? So here we are going to scroll vertically, okay? Uh, it is currently at the top of the page but I want to scroll vertically downwards, okay? So uh, let's implement this now. Um, as you can see, uh, the title of this page is the internet, right? And that would be your caption, right? So uh, I will mention the caption here as the internet, and then I will put a regular expression as well so that if in future this particular title changes, it will still work out, okay? Uh, I don't need to mention any window index because there is just one window uh, and then I want to do a vertical scroll. So I'm going to mention 500 pixel, okay? And that will vertically scroll the page to 500 pixel. Mouse policy, I will leave it at as center and then direction policy, I will do vertical first, although it's not required because we are not uh, doing a horizontal scroll, right? And then we don't need any delay because uh, we are just doing one scroll, not both the scrolls. 
So let's go ahead and execute this test case and let's see if uh, Tosca is able to scroll the page vertically. So let's run it in Scratchbook. And now you will see that uh, Tosca was able to scroll vertically. Okay, now we are at the middle or at least somewhere down the page, right? If you want to scroll more, then just increase the pixels, okay? And um, in the results window also, you will see that the test case has passed, right? So that's how you can uh, vertically or horizontally scroll uh, down the page. It could be applied to either a web application or even a Windows-based application, right? So it basically needs to be a window which has got the scroll bars like horizontal or vertical and then you can scroll up or down using this uh, tbox automation module which is known as tbox scroll window operation also do keep in mind that uh, this particular module is not available in older versions of tosca i'm currently using the tosca 16 version and it's available in this particular version that's all for this particular video if you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.